Okay, now let's solve some equations with integers. I'm going to give you just a second to read this. You might want to hit pause. Okay, so now let's take what that previous page says and put it into practice. So it says to determine whether each of the following is a solution of 2x minus 5 equals negative 13. So I'm going to place, for part A, I'm going to place 4 wherever I see x. And I'm going to see if it makes a true statement. So I've got 2 times 4 minus 5 equals negative 13. And I'm going to put a question mark there because I'm not sure. I'm checking. So I'm going to multiply this out. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 minus 5, does that equal negative 13? 8 minus 5 equals 3. 3 does not equal 13. So I would say no for this one. Or you could say not a solution. So now let's go over here and do part B. I'm going to try negative 4 this time. So I'm going to do 2 times negative 4 minus 5, does that equal negative 13? So I've got negative 8 minus 5, does that equal negative 13? Well, signs are the same, so I'm going to add those numbers together and I'm going to keep that sign. So I do get negative 13, and that does equal negative 13. That is a true statement, so I would say yes. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to try negative 9. So I've got 2, in part C, 2 times negative 9 minus 5. Does that equal negative 13? 2 times negative 9 is negative 18. Negative 18 minus 5. Signs are the same. We have to add those numbers together. That equals negative 23, which does not equal negative 13. So I would say no on this one as well. So our only solution to this problem is x equals negative 4. I'm going to give you a second to read through this, and, um, and then we'll put that into practice here on the next page. All right, so I'm going to solve for y this time. And so whenever you solve for a variable, it's just like what we've done before. You've got y plus 9 equals 5. So I want to ask myself, what is happening to the variable? Well, in this case, I am adding 9. So how do you undo addition? You undo addition with subtraction. So I'm going to subtract 9, but what I do to the left side of the equal sign, I have to do the identical thing to the right side. So I get that y is equal to, because remember that created 0 and went away, what is 5 minus 9? It's negative 4. So this is my solution, but now I can test to make sure that that is correct. I'm going to take that solution, I'm going to put it right back into the original problem, and see if it makes a true statement. I'm going to put a question mark there because I'm testing this. Negative 4 plus 9, that is 5. 5 equals 5. So I know that my solution, y equals 4, is correct. Okay, on this problem right here, I've got a minus 6 equals negative 8. So I've got a minus 6 equals negative 8. What's happening to my variable is I'm subtracting 6. How do you undo subtraction? With addition. So I'm going to add 6 there, but remember what you do to the left side, you have to do the identical thing to the right side. Negative 6 plus 6 creates 0. That goes away. So on the left hand side, I've just left with a. And what is negative 8 plus 6? It's negative 2. So this is my solution, but you can check your work. So I'm going to take negative 2 and put it where I see a. Negative 2 minus 6 is negative 8. 
and negative 8 equals negative 8, so I am positive that this is the correct solution. Okay, for this problem right here, remember whenever we had the envelopes before? And the envelopes stood for something that we don't know. Well, in this case, we have how many envelopes? There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four envelopes. So I'm going to say 4x equals, and how many circles do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 circles. So how many circles need to go in each envelope? Well, in this problem, we know that they're split up evenly <clears throat> because each envelope is the same variable. It holds the same amount. So we're going to undo, in this case, multiplication. What is the opposite or inverse operation of multiplication? It is division. So I've get, I have to divide both sides by 4. So then I get that x is equal to, because 4 divided by 4 is 1, right? Not 0 in this case. We don't want 0 in front of that x because that means that the x goes away completely. We want to have 1x or just x. So now that 4 divided by 4 is 1 or 1x. And if you want to put that 1, that doesn't hurt anything. It's just typically we don't write it. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So I know that if I split these circles up, each envelope would get two circles. So x is equal to 2 in this problem. Okay, you might want to hit pause here. I'm going to give you just a second to read this. Okay, again, take a look at your variable and see what's happening here. We have 7 times x, that's what 7x means, is equal to negative 49. How do you undo multiplication? With division, you have to divide. So let's divide both sides by the number that's in front of the variable. So 7 divided by 7 is 1. That's exactly what we wanted. We wanted there to be a 1 in front of that x that we don't normally write, but it is there. And now we want to divide negative 49 divided by positive 7, and you get negative 7. Can you check your work with these? Absolutely. So we're going to do 7 times negative 7. Does that equal negative 49? 7 times negative 7, signs are different, so we know that's going to be a negative number. So that is a correct answer. We know that x equals negative 7 is the solution. Okay, let's take a look at this one. We've got negative 3 times y equals positive 63. So what's happening to our variable? It's being multiplied by negative 3. You undo that with division. So I'm dividing by negative 3. Negative 3 divided by negative 3 is positive 1, which is exactly what I wanted there. So I've got y is equal to positive divided by negative is a negative. 63 divided by 3 is 21. So that's my solution, y equals 21. So now I'm going to check it. Negative 3 times negative 21, does that equal positive 63? Well, I've got a negative times a negative, so I know that that answer will be positive, And I do get 63 whenever I multiply 3 times 21. So I know that y equals negative 21 is the solution. Okay, so now I'm going to translate and solve. 5 more than x is equal to negative 3. Remember, I'm going to put a box around where my equal sign goes. 5 more than, more than implies addition. So I've got 5 more than x is equal to negative 3. <clears throat> Another way that you could, excuse me, Another way that you could write this is x plus 5 equals negative 3. Those are the same. And so what's happening to our variable? We're adding 5 to it. You undo adding 5 with subtraction. So what I do to one side, I have to do the exact same thing to the other side. 
So I get that x is equal to, because remember that created 0 right there, signs are the same. Add those numbers together, keep that sign. x is equal to negative 8. Can I check this work as well? I sure can. So I would do 5 plus negative 8. Does that equal negative 3? Signs are different, so I have to subtract and keep the sign of the larger number. Negative 3 does equal negative 3, so I feel like this is the correct answer right here. All right, we're going to translate and solve on this one as well. The difference, difference being subtraction of n and 6, is means equals, is negative 10. So whenever you see difference, you have to write these n and 6 in the same order that you read them in. So I would do n minus 6 is means equals negative 10. Now to solve this, I'm going to add 6 to both sides. So this creates 0 right here. So I've got n is equal to negative 10 plus 6 is negative 4. So now I can check this work. Negative 4 minus 6, does that equal negative 10? So I could do change, change. Now signs are the same. Add the numbers together. Keep that sign. Negative 10 does equal negative 10. So this is the solution. Okay, so let's look at this one. The number 108 is the product of negative 9 and y. So is means equals, product means multiply. So I'm going to do 108 is means equals, product means multiply. So I've got negative 9 times y. That's how you can show that there. All right, so now let's see what's happening to our variable. It's being multiplied by negative 9. You undo multiplication with division. And 108 divided by negative 9 is, is 12. So, uh, oh, I forgot my negative sign. So positive divided by negative is negative, so that it would be negative 12. Sorry about that. Because remember, this right here created 1. And there is a 1 in front of this y. We just normally don't write it. All right, so y is equal to negative 12. That's my solution. Now, can I test that and see? Sure can. So I've got 108, question mark, negative 9 times negative 12. So I've got 108 on the left. A negative times a negative is a positive. 9 times 12 is 108. So that is a true statement. This is our solution.